This is Multi Topic Talk. Welcome to this new video. Today we cover Deck Profile Naruto CCJ number 4. So, number 4 is Earth Lightning. I draw your battle reward. This one is very fun. It's also a grow at some extent because you do have potato early in the game. So uh, it's not as aggressive as the animal deck, but it has a lot of resources. Uh, so I hope everyone will enjoy. I will also showcase all the physical card in the deck and give you the proper deck list and cover each single card. Maybe not the reinforcement in detail, but you have the list. And I hope you will enjoy. So, uh, here we are. Two deflection, because deflection is good protection. Basho Sam's power is an amazing jutsu. If you get to play several colors in your deck, just like this deck. So either you can stand by someone, or you can gain uh, extra power during the exchange of jutsu. Expansion slap, so staple art, amazing card. Disaster of the Ninetail is a combo you can use with um, the squad of both Naruto and his father. You can also um, just use it if your opponent is better than you and stronger than you. You can just injure the entire battlefield lunchbox because draw power because it's art because it gives plus one plus one student and sensei because draw power and in this deck you get to discard or draw battle rewards so even if your opponent doesn't attack you you can still uh, pick up these battle rewards Zetsu Army because you play some permanent you want to keep around and Zetsu Army basically adds coins to the permanent so your permanent will all stay longer like Lunchbox if you have Zetsu Army instead of staying for two turn it will stay for three turn uh, if you have exaggeration instead of staying for two turn it will still stay for three turn which is really good now the thing with Zetsu Army it's only good if you got permanent mission. So it's the kind of mission you play before you decide to play permanent. Um, yeah, outside of that, uh, World of Lightning. Uh, really good mission. I really wished I had more than one World of Lightning in real life. But I only want copy. Uh, so because I only got one copy, I only run one copy. Um, it can give plus one plus one coin to your entire army and with this two army you can add one extra uh, plus one plus one coin so it feels like nothing but they stack and at some point you're too strong and your opponent cannot handle it anymore um next mission Kisuke I run two of these uh, because why not he's lightning Yama Lightning, Konoha Maru, uh, that deck should generate lots of chakra, so you should be able to draw one card very often with that Konoha Maru. Yagura, okay, Yagura, I only play in because colors. Lightning Earth is really good in this deck, so I play in for colors. Choji Akimichi moving, same reason. He is Earth Lightning, I like that. Inada moving, same reason. Earth Lightning. Now, if I had more Inata and Choji, I would only run them. And I also think if I had enough Choji and Inata, I think I would take out like Kisuke and Gamma to run like three Choji, three Inata, because these are the symbols I want. One Ino Yamanaka Charm, because she is also Earth Lightning. Three Jitai because he is also Art Lightning. Three Ink Fish because draw power is good. Two Temari because she is both Wind and Lightning. It's kind of good. She also has a good effect because usually you will have both Wind and Lightning ninjas in play when she comes around. 
Killer B Tell B's form is a really strong combo with exaggeration. So even if you're opening blocks, you don't really care about giving damage. You want battle reward. So you get two battle reward instead of one if you have exaggeration. The fourth Okage, this one is teleport. I don't play special kunai because I ate that combo, it's too good. Uh, but I still play uh, for the Kage Teleport because of the color. It is Bolt Lightning and Wind. And in this deck, it can be cool to have Bolt Lightning and Wind. Fort Okage with Flashpoint. Now, this is my favorite Fort Okage in the entire game. He is great, he is very fun. I just wished I had more than one in real life. But this is a super rare, and this was near the end of the game, so it's really hard to find uh, that fourth Okage around. Uh, the first Okage, Supremacy, this one makes you draw, I believe, one or two battle reward from your opponent. It's kind of good. Psy, uh, amazing, because it's both Lightning and Art. And on top of that... You get back one of your open and battle reward. And you can also grow him so you can become stronger. And if you have uh, Zetsu Army, you basically have a turn 3 that has 6 5 powers. And it's crazy to think about that. Kankuro, that one is Wind Earth. You want to discard one of your open and battle reward. And he has a wind or a lightning effect. I forgot that one. I think it's like move a jutsu from the graveyard to the top deck or something like that. I can't remember, but I play that Kankuro mainly for the effect of getting back battle reward or discarding battle reward. I forgot what he does exactly. And the other reason is his color. I think this is the only uh, Kankuro... That is both wind and earth. I do think there's a control platoon, but I don't have it, so that's the only option I got. Naruto promo 38. That Naruto basically draw your opponent battle reward, so it's really, really good in this deck. So here we are with uh, the pile face down. It's basically the reinforcement. 3 Killer B version 2 OP card. I only have 2 copy in real life. Naruto's Maggie Sage Mode promo 87 because I don't have the good Sage Mode. And I'm pretty sure I got 3 of that one as well in real life, but I was too lazy to find the other 2. Maybe I, I only got one, but who cares at that point. Uh, Naruto's Maggie and his father. I run 2. Uh, here I mark down 3 because I'm lazy, but. Technically speaking, you can only play two of these in this deck because you only run two Fort Hokage. Uh, Jiraiya Sage Mode is for the other deck. Um, the previous uh, deck profile I did with the animals. So we run, we run two of that one. Deflection, great card, staple art. You want to protect your Naruto, your whoever is into the battlefield during the exchange of Jutsu. So the next card, Basho Shen Power. So two colorless and the effect depends on what chakra you use to pay that Jutsu. If you use art, you stand by someone uh, against the user. So you can basically negate a Jutsu this way because the user is no more in the battlefield. So the Jutsu has no more valid user. Um, if you pay with Lightning, this is kind of shit. But you can. It gives you uh, the user 3 combat and 3 support. So someone needs to be desperate to use Bashos and Power for increasing your team power. Usually you want to use Bashul Shen Power for standby stuff, because standby is really good. The next one is a staple. 
Expansion Jutsu Super Slap. We run three of this because this is good. You stand by someone, so you basically uh, negate a Jutsu with that. One Earth, one colorless is amazing when you run Lightning and Earth. You're sure to pay the the cost. So the next stop, Disaster. I only run one of these because this is a combo with the Fort Okage and Naruto squad because the Fort Okage and Naruto squad they deal one damage to every opponent ninja so this disaster injure all of your opponent ninja so with the Fort Okage and Naruto you basically board wipe this is a turn 7 combo so it's kinda late but it can win you the game if the game went that long which is very appreciated right so here we play three lunchbox because we get to draw and we get some power buff I like that a lot next stop student and sensei you give your opponent one battle reward and then you draw two the good thing about that, in this deck, you get to draw battle reward. So this means, you don't really give away one card. You just tell him, yeah, for now it's yours, but later, it'll be mine. <laughs> this is the idea of that Earth Lightning deck. Next up, one of my favorite lightning mission ever made. Exaggeration lasts for two turns, and every number are increased. So if you play your squad, Naruto and Portal Kage, you board wipe, white out disaster, you only need that. Uh, if you play Killer B, you gain extra battle reward. Uh, if you draw cards, you draw extra cards. If you gain battle reward, you gain extra battle reward. So this card is amazing. I just wished I had more copies in real life. That's my only exaggeration. It's so sad. This card is busted. Zetsu Army, the next one on the list. So Zetsu Army, uh, it's basically a card that will give extra coins to your permanent missions. So it's a really good mission that supports your other missions. Uh, either it will be World of Lightning, uh, Launchbox, Exaggeration. These three missions will be helped by Zetsu Army. And Zetsu Army will also help your side to become even stronger and more scary if you get to pay the uh, side effect. The next card is a very fun card I wished I had more copies of. World of Lightning. Permanent. Each time you put in play a Lightning Ninja, add a coin to this mission. Remove 3 coins. All of your ninjas get plus 1 plus 1 coins. And on top of that, if you got Zetsu Army, you can choose one of your ninjas and that ninja will get an extra plus 1 plus 1 coins. Uh, if you have six coins on World of Lightning, you get an extra effect for the turn. When any of your teams win, you win one battle reward. Um, so at the end of the turn, you can still gain one extra battle reward. And what's very interesting about this mission, it cannot be affected by the opponent mission cards. So it can only be affected by like card like Inna. Inna is is a really strong card that can kill that mission. But outside of Inna, I don't see many cards that can kill that wall of lightning. That's why I like that wall so much. Next up is Kisuke. Kisuke. When he is killed, he comes back to life with a ghost coin. And if he has a ghost coins, if he dies again uh, from the exchange of jutsu, well, I should say no, from the showdown. So 
if he dies in battle basically and no jutsu killed him it's really the battle result he is removed from the game instead and what's very interesting about that card if he dies in combat with a ghost coin if you have world of lightning you get an extra coins because he rarely leaves the village and comes back and because he comes back he is like put in play again so you add a coin to your world of lightning now even if I like that card a lot if I add more like Choji, Inata or Naruto moving I would run them instead of him even if he's really good it's not the best deck to play him it's just very fun I think another ninja Yama this time around we only use him because he's a zero drop that has a lightning symbol we don't really care about fire in this deck and his effect is kind of shit but he has good stat I will admit for a zero for a turn zero it's really good so here we are that Konohamaru is my favorite Konohamaru. He is not broken at any means. Uh, he is only good when you got 8 or more chakra. This deck do generate lots of chakra. So I do think he will be able to draw a lot during the game with that Konohamaru. And he has growth on top of that. So this means uh, you can put in play more coins on your world of lightning if you grow that Konohamaru. So... It's ends down my favorite Konohamaru in the game. The next pick, we only play one copy because of colors. He is both Lightning and Earth. He is also a zero drop. So it's a good card considering his color and his turn drop. Uh, if I had more moving, I think that card would not be around anymore. Or maybe I would still keep it. Because it's still an extra ninja with both lightning and earth. So maybe I would still keep him actually. I really don't know. All I know is right now I run him one time in that deck for his colors. The next one. I really wished I had a tree copy of that guy in real life. However, I only got two copies. So I run two copy of this guy. Now, if you have Inata in play... He is a bit better. Uh, what's cool about him? He can organize your team during your opponent mission phase. So this is fun, I guess. Now, the biggest reason to play that card is Earth and Lightning. So because it's Earth and Lightning, this means you can pay for most of your mission with that card. And most of your ninjas as well. So you're glad to run that ninja there. The one and only Inata uh, I got. She's moving. It's amazing. She's both earth and lightning. I only have one copy of her sadly. So because of that I only run her once. Uh, she has good synergy with Choji. And she can pay most of your missions. So the next one, Jitai. I play three copies of him because he's both lightning and earth, and he is somewhat interesting because he can he can like discard one chakra to get plus one plus one until the end of the turn, so he can become five one. And considering it's a turn one, it's somewhat interesting. Uh, it's not the best card out there, but just like Choji and Inata. He can pay for every single mission in the deck. So this is great to play in this deck. Next up. The one and only Eggfish. Uh, yeah, that deck has lots of cards you already have seen. Including Eggfish. So this one can be an extra ninja. You just put in play to draw an extra card and have... An extra ninja outside of your deployment. He is a 2-2, so he is a really good card. 
Eastern one as well. So I like this card a lot. Lightning gives you a lot of drop power for sure. Next up, the one and only Tim Marie, Bolt, Wind, and Lightning. She's a turn 5 drop, so she's very late in the game. But she's cool because she has two symbols. And she's cool because if you play a mission and you control another Wind Ninja, most likely Kankuro or Fort Okage, you get to draw a card. Now, when she's put in play, if you control another Lightning mission... Oh no, this is at the start of the turn. At the start of the turn, if you have another Lightning Ninja... You can move the top card of your uh, deck to your Chakra area. So you will most likely generate lots of Chakra with that Tamari there. Because most of your deck is Lightning. There's only one card that has no Lightning symbol. And that is an actual Ninja. And I think it's like the first Okage. But all of the other Ninjas are Lightning. So you are sure to generate Chakra at the start of each turn you get. So this is a really good card in this deck. I think this Timari is very specific to your deck. Uh, there are better Timaris out there, but in this deck, this Timari is just fire. So the next up, Kankuro, Wind Earth. We play him because he is a Earth Ninja, and. If you have another Earth Ninja like Sai or if you got like one of your turn zero drops, you discard one of your opening battle rewards. So this means the student of Sensei you played earlier in the game was for free basically. <laughs> which is great. Now if you put in play this ninja, if you have a lightning ninja, which is 90% of your ninjas. You move one Jutsu card from your discard pile to the top of your deck. So this means if you're able to draw it, man, you have a Jutsu, like, that's crazy. That Kankuro is amazing in this deck. I actually forgot that Lightning uh, effect text. So that Kankuro is even better than what I remembered. So he is just amazing for this deck. And here again, there are better Kankuro out there, but in this deck, this Kankuro is fire. He is amazing. Next up, we will speak about Killer B version 2. This one is in Reinforcement. I didn't really showcase him. I think it's the only Reinforcement I will uh, waste time uh, showing. Um... This one during exchange of Jutsu, for free, you can move the end ninja of the opposing team to the top of its owner deck. So if your opponent has no response, he loses end ninja. This is OP. Uh, now, Tell Beast Form, this is the killer bee you play in this deck. If he's blocked, you can win one battle reward. In that case, this ninja team cannot deal damage due to the showdown during this turn so what's crazy about that power even if you lose even if your opponent has a stronger team you can still won one battle reward you can still win one battle reward um, you will win one battle reward sadly it's not valid so uh, you win your battle reward and then if you lose you're injured um, so yeah, um, cool card, I like it a lot. As I said earlier, this Fort Okage is broken with the right combo, but in this deck I only play him for the colors, lightning and wind. Uh, I don't play special kunai because it's boring to play special kunai. Uh, so, yeah, Teleport and uh, Fort Okage is busted with the right cards. In this deck is not that great. The best you can do is maybe add more coins or squad into Naruto and blow up the field. 
Uh, since I'm there, I will actually showcase the squad. So I think it's there. Um, yeah, that's the squad I was talking about earlier. One you put in play, it's your turn 7. Give 1 damage to all of your opening ninjas. When this ninja is removed from play due to the showdown, so if he loses a battle, um, he'll all of your opening ninjas. But usually you will never lose that ninja in, in battle, except if you mess up somewhere, but usually this card and the game, usually. It's a really good card. It's a reinforcement again. So, my favorite for Tokage. I wished I had more than one copy in real life. So this one has Flashpoint, so this means you can remove him from the game and when he's back, he trigger his put in play effect. His put in play effect, all of your ninja get plus two, plus two this turn. Additionally, if you win uh, an outstanding victory, you win one battle reward, so you stack up more battle reward even if you're blocked, which is kind of good. And two, two to all of your ninjas, it's crazy. It's it can win you the game basically. So even the turn he's put in play, it can make you win. So the next one, the God of Shinobi. He is Supremacy, I only run one because I'm out of space and I also only have one in real life. Uh, when he is deployed, move two of your uh, opponent's battle reward to your end. Then shuffle any number of cards from your discard pile to your deck. So if you're against Mill, you basically tell him, yeah, the game will be longer, bro. But usually Mill deck you out at that point, but... Yeah, this first Okage is really good. And on top of that, he has Mastery. So it's really good. Uh, I think it's my favorite first Okage. He is great. I like to play him a lot. Next up, we got Sai. So this one, we play him for the colors. Lightning Earth, it's quite strong. He also has two really good... Uh, effects. So the first effect is a put in play. You can pay two lightning. In that case, place a roll coin on this ninja and move your turn maker up by one. So instead of being turn three, you end up being turn four, and this ninja becomes five four instead of four three. Now, if you got this to army, this ninja becomes six five instead of four three, which is crazy. Now, the second valid effect, when this ninja is put in play, you can pay two art. In that case, move one of your opponent battle reward to your end. So your student and sensei you played earlier in the game, yeah, it was for free. You just waited a bit longer to, ter to draw the third card, you know? It's crazy. I only run one because I could only find one copy of that ninja in my cards. I don't know if I own a second one. It's a miracle if I find a second one in my huge collection. I think that's the last card I need to cover with this deck list. Naruto Promo 38. When this ninja is deployed, randomly select one of your opponent battle reward and move it to your end. So your student and sensei you played earlier, it was for free. I run two of these because I do think I only own two of these. Good card, I like it a lot. Sadly, it's only deployed, so you cannot grow and have his effect. So, yeah, that's also why I don't run any turn zero Naruto. Because uh, if I have a turn zero Naruto, I cannot get to draw one of my opponent. Uh, battle rewards and it's sad you want to steal his battle rewards here are the cards for the lightning earth deck i will present you in this video so uh yeah let's let's take a look
Sadly, I did not have the chance to test out the deck. However, I do think the balance is quite good in terms of colors in the deck. And I do think there's a lot of really strong combos in it. So it's worth playing and testing. So thank you for watching this video. Like, comment and subscribe. We will see each other in future video. Have a great day.